everybody, Dave Nasty here at Epic Guitar Instruction. How are you? We're gonna learn a really cool song today. And for all you guys out there, this is a good one for the ladies. The ladies like this one. We're gonna learn Love Song by Tesla. And I know it's a guilty pleasure for most. Uh, it's just a fantastic song from back in the day. Has some really fun acoustic stuff that we can do, some classic old strumming. We're in standard tuning, we do a little bit of finger picking. So let's have some fun, let's get started. We're gonna start now up here and we're gonna like I said we're gonna incorporate our thumb and, and some different things with our right hand we're gonna start with our pinky on the second string on the eighth fret now what I'm doing is I'm gonna pluck with my middle finger as I hit that note and I'm gonna hit my thumb on the D note or the open D string and I'm gonna now you notice that D is gonna pop in in a couple of places so let's take a look at what happens there I have I'm gonna pick that second string, I'm gonna pull off. Now to make a pull off, you notice I have those fingers placed down and then I hit that D string again. So that's gonna give me this. I hit that D string, so I have a kind of a thing that's going on here at the same time, and then I'm gonna hit these separate. Gotta keep that really nice and easy for us in the beginning. to the 14th fret now and look at how I'm fretting this. I have my pinky, my middle finger, and my first. If that's tricky, you can go and slide it if you want to do that, or you can go however you want to make it easy on yourself. The way they play it on the record, they play it like this. Now, that sets us up for this really pretty beginning. break that down because we have two versions of that but we're gonna do this very easy for you it's not gonna be difficult to navigate so I have my first finger on the F sharp I'm gonna hit my D string open I'm gonna fret my G note now the D is still ringing and I'm gonna hit this again and go to an open string and that's the best way for me to execute that so I have my open D string and my F sharp I fret my G note D is still ringing as you can hear Hitting my F sharp going up to my G. Now I'm going to hit my A string as I climb up 2, 3, and 5, plucking those with my middle finger on my right hand. Leading me into a B minor bar chord. 4, 3, 2, 3 with my right hand. That's what I arpeggiated after I hit the 5th and 2nd string. 4, 3, 2, 3. So playing that slowly. Open second string with my middle finger on the third fret in addition to that sixth string. Now I'm going to walk back up to two and three on the second fret, or a second string rather. And that takes care of that. We're going to do the same thing in a different version in a minute, but I'll play that one more time. This version's pretty cool. It's going to be basically the same thing. I'm going to have a little triad there, a little uh, kind of third interval. Now I hit the fifth high E string, seventh, second string in addition to my D. You can notice that's my third, my middle, and my thumb. Now I'm going to hit this note, which is the B note, and I'm going to just like that. So I fret that note. I'm going to hit my fifth fret high E string. I'm going to hammer on pull off and slide, sometimes tricky to do on acoustic. In addition, we have this. Now, this is fun. A string with my C sharp note on the second fret, second string. High E string in addition. So I have three notes going at one time. To this interval, to this interval, the A rings for the duration of those after only hitting it the first time, taking me back to this. We alternate between that every other time, so we're pretty good so far. Let's take a look at this. We have Boy, I bet you can't wait to that strumming part, huh? Right, that's going to be good. So that's our first one, second one. That's gonna 
set us up now for this. So I'm going to play that slow. That's really pretty as we go through that. That is the second fret and the third fret. Fifth string in my open second string on the second fret. Again, that's going to be this. Now I'm going to hit the fifth fret and the fourth fret. These are really wide intervals you can see here. So that's like the fifth of the second string, fifth in the second string, sixth in the second string. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go to a G chord after that. So in context, let's take a look at what we have, right? I'm going to look at coming from here now. Now, when I hit that G chord, that's where we've currently left off. When I hit that G chord, I'm going to hit my sixth string and my second string together. Four, three, two, three. A chord. Same thing again. That's the second string and the fifth string. Four, three, two, three. You're going to notice that's repeating, so that makes it a lot easier as we go through this. Let's back up a little bit. Let's take it from here. G, four, three, two, three, A, four, three, two, three. Leading into this. Four, three, two, three. Now, what's happening here, again, to explain it as clearly as possible, second string and the sixth string at the same time, Four, three, two, three. Afterwards, we play it two times in a row. Okay, so now there's a point in time in the intro where we think about something else like puppies and flowers. You just give yourself a break. You know, give yourself a mental break. But we're doing good because we're almost done. And then we're going to have some fun strumming. Nobody does the intro. That's why we're doing the intro. Nobody does it. So we're having a good time. We're going to go back here. We're going to take it from here now. Next part. That's really fun. We're hitting that sixth fret or sixth string, middle fingers on the uh, third fret. Open B string in addition, two, three. And notice I leave that ringing. I'm gonna do the same thing again. And look at how the pinky did all the work there. So that's my middle finger here, my third finger here. And you might have a different fingering that works well for you. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Open low string. That's this next section. I'm going to play that slow again. Woof! We got there. We got there. Now we have a really cool part where we're going to do this. On the acoustic guitar of all things, we're going to try to play a lick like this. And we go into the D chord. So what that is, is that is a lot of left hand work. I'm going to leave my index finger down. I'm going to start from my 4th fret and I'm going to pull through Figaro, that's what I'm hearing in my head, over and over and again. And you see that I cross through the G, the D, and the A strings and I'm going to immediately slab that chord and I'm going to be taken into that. In addition to working on this song, this is a great song that you can play with your friends and this is a great song that you guys can learn how to solo and jam together and interact in that kind of way. So for you guitar players out there that want some aid in your soloing and blues in a rock kind of fashion, that link that you see below in that YouTube text box, all you gotta do is click on that link. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get a free video and a coinciding ebook that'll break down arpeggios and scales and bending and all the things that you need to know to learn how to solo. And songs like this are a great canvas to do so. We will show you how to play along with a track just like this. All you gotta do is click on that link below and all the help you need in your soloing is right there and it's free. So we will repeat through this all one more time and we're gonna finish out our intro. I don't even need to play much more other than the three tasty little chords that we're gonna hear at the very end. You can follow me at the very beginning of this video for a guideline of how to get through this, but we hit a D chord. We're going to this guy. And then we're into the song. <laughs> 
So one more time. That's a D chord. And we've made it all the way through our intro, everybody. And we've done a pretty good job doing so. So now the next thing that we're going to start off with, we're going to start ringing our D. Now we can play these a couple of different ways. We could maybe extend our voicing. But to me it sounds a little bit different when you hear that C note in there, so I'm gonna go. sets us up for the body of the song or the big part of the song and let's just go through the chords that we have and we'll talk about the strumming we're, we're you know it's pretty light and easy today we're doing good so we have an E minor chord going to a B minor chord B minor going to an A A minor chord I'm going to show you how it's strummed. Some of the embellishments that I put in are motions that look just like this. A little open second fret to the A string there. They work really good in between your chords. So I'm going to play that out one more time and then I'm going to plug in another little piece and we're going to finish this song up. We're doing good today. Little fill. Now notice that B minor to the A. back in. solo that I can't get to on the acoustic so uh, all good that was fun a big rocket song and then you hear this <laughs> kind of come in there at the end but we're having fun we've got the intro we've got the body of the song so I appreciate you sticking around for the duration of the video and if you've liked this video please click that like button down there subscribe to the channel leave us a comment give us some feedback we're gonna be providing you with content every single week of all the possible songs that we can think of and the help that you can give us so we want your input. Please, again, subscribe to the channel, click on that like button, leave us a comment. We're all having fun over here at Epic Guitar Instruction, and I will see you next time. Thank you for sticking around. Take care.